Hello everyone, thank you for watching my video. I am attempting to do a Eucharist service for you. Um, I am currently non-denominational and I am in between finding a new church, so I don't have a whole structure that I currently use. So I kind of have had to put this together um, on my own and doing some research and whatnot. And I have decided also to um, focus <clears throat> this Eucharist on the Advent because it's coming up in a couple of weeks. So I figured why not try my hands at that. So bear with me and um, I look forward to your comments and feedback. So friends, during this time of Advent and seeing so many new faces here among us, I want to remind everyone of the importance of what Jesus asks and also of the fact that he himself does not expect perfection. He was not himself, he was, he himself was imperfect as we have been shown by his experience with the Canaanite woman who in that experience he was given the chance to show humility and also realized that he is not just for the people of Israel, he is for the, for all people, for all nations. So that is what I want to remind all of the new people here in this beautiful Advent season. And also the fact that Jesus himself was radically inclusive and spoke of nothing but love and forgiveness and kindness to all people. And that especially includes all marginalized people. That said, welcome. Welcome to the table. This is your table. This table, it is yours. You were given an invitation to this table on the day of your birth and you simply come as you are, come to the table. You need not be a person of Christian faith. You need not be a person of faith at all. It does not matter where you are in your spiritual journey or what you believe. All I ask is that you come up here and find that relationship with love. That is what this table is for. And now we begin with our preface. Mystery of winter skies. We thank you in the darkening hour for opening our eyes to see your starlit beauty, for parting the wide heavens to send your gentle light, for offering your word to take our mortal flesh. He was promised by those who shared your dream of peace John the Baptist cleared the way with words of desert fire. Mary and Joseph accepted his coming with tenderness and faith. We know that he draws near again to show us who we really are with honesty and love. Now we take up the song of hope that we might awaken to his coming among us and the world be touched by the football of his glory. Now, on the night of his betrayal, Jesus broke bread with his disciples, and he said, here, take this and eat this in remembrance of me. And once that was done, he took from the cup of wine and said, here, drink in remembrance of me for our new covenant. And each time that we do this, we are asked to remember a man who simply is a reminder of God's love for all humanity, no matter what. And a person who spoke of love for each and every soul on earth. And 
once all of that has been put out for everybody, go through our prayer. Eternal God, we thank you that in Christ you give yourself into our hands. May we who have tasted life proclaim the coming feast when many will come from east and west, from north and south, 